Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Happy Valentine's Day. XOXO to everyone who supports us. Today we made this beautiful cake with pink cream cheese frosting, red sprinkles, heart sprinkles, and some extra frosting on top. This cake was absolutely delicious and we definitely recommend it for a wonderful Valentine's Day special. These are the ingredients we're going to be needing to make the red velvet cake. To start out, we're going to use the ingredients that we use to make the base and the cake. We're going to need all-purpose flour, 1 and 3 fourth cups, unsweetened cocoa powder, 2 teaspoons. Then you're going to need 1.5 teaspoons of baking powder, 3 fourth teaspoons of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. You're also going to need white sugar, 1 cup, and buttermilk or milk, 3 fourth cups. Finally, you're going to need one tablespoon of vinegar, three fourth cups of softened butter, three eggs, red food coloring to give it that red velvety look, and finally two teaspoons of vanilla extract. To start off, we're going to be using the milk, or if you have buttermilk, um, and then we're going to be adding vinegar into it. You can use white or red vinegar. By red, I mean apple cider vinegar, and then you just want to stir these slightly together just before we start, and then we're going to put this little mixture to the side, and it's going to do its magic. We're going to start off with mixing the butter and the sugar, so we have our first stick of butter in here, and now we're going to add in the sugar. We can just put the sugar in now. And now we're also going to add in the vanilla extract, and then finally we're going to all uh, whisk it together. Then you want to add in all the three eggs one by one. Add in one egg and then beat it. Once again. And the third egg. And we stick it all again until it comes out as fl fl fluffy texture. food coloring. You can put in gel or any different type of food coloring in. Now that we've finished that step and we have our colors, we're going to add in the milk and vinegar mixture that we made a little while ago because that about that time it's going to puffin up the mixture that we have. Mix once again. Now we're going to add in the dry mixtures and then we're just going to sift it, which are the all purpose flour and the cocoa powder. Also, the baking powder. And the baking soda. Then you want to add in the rest of the all-purpose flour and then finally add in the salt as well. Then mix all your ingredients well. ready we have a beautiful thick perfect batter we're going to put this in the pans and into the oven 
Here we have two different pans. We're going to start off with our first pan and we're going to lay a piece of parchment paper on. On top of that, you want to put some oil and just lather it on there. Repeat the process with the second pan. Put the batter in to both the pans. It should lay like this, like a ribbon, slowly flapping down. Repeat the same with the se second pan. Now we are going to put the cake in the oven for about 180 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. These are the two cakes that came out of the oven and now we're going to assemble them. Start taking the cake out of the pan. Just get it out ever so lightly and then you want to peel off the parchment paper. We have a beautiful fresh base and now we're going to do the same with the other pan. Now we're going to head along and we're going to make the frosting. We have room temperature butter, um, cream cheese, and we also have powdered sugar. We're also going to be adding uh, food coloring, which is optional, just to give it a little bit more of a red Valentine's Day color. Now apparently when we made our cake, the food coloring all vanished, so that's why we're going to give a more pop to our frosting. We're going to start mixing and then slowly we're going to add each of the ingredients one by one. This is a different type of frosting that we're making, not usually cream cheese frostings go like this method because we're only using light ingredients. Now we're gonna add in the powdered sugar. You just wanna add it in a little by little. in the butter add in the butter and then you want to mix it again you're gonna have to break down the butter because it is room temperature it's not fully softened yet here is when it activates and it becomes more gooey and more of a frosting like texture but it's also stiff and very pretty at the same time Now we're in the middle of it, but we haven't fully clumped, uh, loosened out the lumps yet. We're going to take the beater and do it later on, but first we're going to add in the vanilla essence. And then you want to give it a good mix. Now we're going to add a few drops of food coloring to give it that pop. batter so make sure all of the frosting clumps are gone and you get this perfectly creamy cheesy uh, frosting now we have our luscious beautiful frosting and now we're gonna start assembling our cake if you want you can cut off the top but well, we're gonna skip it and we're just gonna keep it at the way it is now you want to put a dollop of the icing on there just want to increase it Now we put it on top of the first one and now we're gonna put our second layer on top. 
just put it very slightly. take some extra other white icing that we got from the store and we're going to put it inside an icing bag so we can make some embroidery on top of it. So now we're going to be doing a design on our cake. We're going to do two little drops of frosting and then we're going to add in a heart sprinkle. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. We have made a wonderful cake here and we hope you guys like the recipe. We put up a little bit of frosting droplets and some sprinkles as well. Um, hearts and loves to everyone, XOXO. And we hope everyone has a wonderful Valentine's Day and we will see everyone in the next video. Bye!